Okay, so the first question we are going to answer, which is probably the most burning question I found on the internet about how to create this or that with Canva, it is how to create curved text, right? Curved text is probably the most thought after answer about Canva. How can I do this with Canva? I want to create curved text. The people are speaking and Canva needs to listen, right? So far, Canva hasn't come up with a simple feature to curve its text. So I'm going to show you a workaround. It's not going to be easy, guys. So we are starting with a big chunk right here. The first lesson is a tough one, but you will be able to create curved text. So let me show you what kind of curved text. I have myself created a couple of logos like this one. Let me put this full screen for you guys like this one, which is pretty cool. You see Nina lifts slightly curved and then this one for the elephant park here in Thailand. So it's called Ban Chang Elephant Park and you see the text is also curved. So let me show you how to do this. We are going to start from scratch. So this is a uh, empty document. You can see it's just a square. Uh, this is the Instagram format, I think uh, 1080 by 1080 pixels. So you can take any format you want. You don't have to make it square, but me, I'm going to use this format to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you how to curve this text in Canva. Again, there is no easy way to do it. So this is a little bit time consuming, but I want to show you what I know on how to do it. All right. So for starters, we are going to open a few shapes. So we are going to create two round shapes. So for this, go to the element tab and under the all tab right here, you're going to scroll down and find your shapes. Okay. So just use uh, the round shape like this. Give it any color you like. Me, I like to use yellow, all right? So let's use this yellow and let's copy this shape, reduce its size a little bit, give it another color, maybe um, a more, yes, like a more, a darker yellow. And let's do something like this, okay? Just make sure they are positioned at the center of your document. So you see these lines, these purple lines, when you have both of the lines, like plain lines, not uh, dotted lines, plain lines, that means this is exactly the middle, the center of your document. So positioning these two circles at the center of the document, maybe I give them some transparency. So let me give these things maybe a 50% transparency and this one as well, 50% transparency. Now I have this. Okay, this is perfect. In order for these two shapes not to move around when I'm going to be using my text, I'm going to lock these two elements. So I'm selecting both of them and I'm going to use the padlock here that says lock uh, to make sure these are not going to be moving. So now I cannot select them anymore. Well, I can select them to unlock them, but they're not going to move when I click on them by mistake. Okay, so next we are going to need some text, of course, because this is about curving text, not curving shapes. So uh, the way to do it, you can go to your text element here and use a text box like this. The other way to do it, you just click on your design and use the T key on your keyboard and that will bring a text box as well. Okay, good. Let's position this at the middle of the center and maybe make it a little bit bigger, maybe 36 find a font that we like. So let's say Campton, big, nice font. You can put it all caps like this. And now we need something to write. So whatever, let's say curved text. Let's be very creative here. Uh, so I'm going to select this and write down curved text. Okay. So this is the text we are going to curve. All right. So how do you do this? Well, there's no easy way about this. As I told you, let's make this a little bit bigger. Uh, we are going to have to do this manually. So the way to do it manually, let's keep this here. Okay. This is going to be our model. Uh, the way to do this manually is to break this down to individual letters. So let's do this. I'm going to copy this text box and let's bring this down to individual letters. So I'm just going to keep the C here like this, and I'm going to reduce the size of the box pretty much to this. Now, the next step is to copy this text box. Okay, align it next to the first one and uh, just go on writing my sentence here. So R, I'm going to speed up the video because you don't need to see me doing this. It's a very repetitive process, but uh, it needs to be done. Also, if you are using a letter that you already have, 
like the E here, you can simply copy it. And there we go. We have our word curved text and you see each letter is an individual letter now. All right, so that's a good start. Let me take this by selecting all of it and positioning it here. And now I'm gonna select everything and center this like this. So now we have this word broken down to individual letters. The holy grail of how to create curved text with Canva is to do like this. That's why we created these two circles. And you might have guessed it, but you just have to position the letters. Let's, let's do like this. So this is basically the middle of the page. Uh, I'll try to write curved text around this. So it's gonna be maybe a little bit too much. So maybe we will just move it afterwards. But what you want to do is to first let's zoom in. Let's uh, have some clarity on what we are doing right here. Okay, let's start with this. I'm gonna rotate this letter. So by clicking on it, you see this little two arrow like icon right here. So you can rotate your, your C here. Um, so I'm going to rotate it. And also I'm going to move this letter with the, the keyboard arrow so that it touches the first circle, like the darker yellow circle. And then I'm going to move the U shape or the U letter and bring it here and also making it touch my darker uh, circle right here. And this is how you basically organize your letters. So this could be a little bit tedious, a little bit of a complicated work, but you see having this darker circle here allows me to see what I'm doing and leaving the appropriate spacing between the letters. So this is quite interesting, taking shape slowly. Let me zoom in a little bit more so we have more precision. And the key here is to find the right uh, rotation for every letters that you're using. This is gonna be take a little bit of time and also the spacing between the letters can be a little bit of a tricky part to solve. But with experience and by doing this, you will be able to create curved text with Canva. So let me speed up the process to show you the final result. All right, so this is what we have so far. You see the text is curved, it's pretty good looking already. So that would be nice if you could continue the sentence so you can make a larger sentence with this. But I think you got the idea of how to curve text with Canva. It's a little bit of a tedious adventure to do this, of course, because it's a lot of like moving the letters, um, precision work, and sometimes it doesn't look perfect. So you have to continuously uh, rotate the letters and adjust the distance between the letters, but you can achieve some pretty cool result uh, by doing by using this technique. So if I take all this, for example, now I can rotate the whole thing and it should keep the same proportion because it's a, a round shape that you are using right here. And if not, you can always adjust your letters. So for example, if I want to position the whole thing here like this, I can group my letters. So now I can move this, uh, I can simply click on it it's selected and adjusted. So if I want to center this, I have to ungroup and of course need to adjust uh, every single letters. But this is how you create curved text. I hope you enjoy this first answer to the first question and let's move on to the second question. <laughs>